Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Frederick Winslow Taylor, born on March 20, 1856, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is widely regarded as the father of scientific management. His groundbreaking work in the field of industrial engineering revolutionized the way organizations approached efficiency, productivity, and labor management. During the late 19th and early 20th centuries, Dot Taylor's early life was marked by a passion for mechanics and engineering. Despite his limited formal education, he gained practical experience working on the factory floor. His hands-on experience fueled his interest in improving industrial processes and led him to pursue a career in industrial management. In 1881, Taylor joined the Midvale Steel Company, where he began applying scientific principles to the study of work. He conducted time and motion studies, analyzing and optimizing the tasks performed by workers. Taylor's systematic approach to work processes laid the foundation for what would later be known as scientific management. The seminal work of Taylor was presented in his 1911 magnum opus, The Principles of Scientific Management. In this influential book, he outlined his principles of scientific management, emphasizing the importance of standardizing work procedures, scientifically selecting and training workers and fostering a collaborative relationship between management and labor. Point one of Taylor's key contributions was the development of time and motion studies aimed at identifying the most efficient way to perform a task. By breaking down complex jobs into smaller, manageable tasks, he sought to eliminate inefficiencies and optimize the use of time and resources. This approach had a profound impact on industries leading to increased productivity and reduced production costs. Taylor's principles were implemented in various industries, including manufacturing and assembly lines. His approach fostered a shift from traditional methods of labor management to a more systematic and data-driven approach. While his ideas were met with resistance and criticism from some quarters, they gained widespread acceptance and became influential in shaping the field of industrial management. Beyond his work on scientific management, Taylor played a crucial role in advancing the field of industrial engineering. He served as the president of the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME, from 1906 to 1907 and contributed significantly to the development of standardized tools and equipment. Taylor's legacy is complex, as his ideas spark debates about the balance between efficiency and worker welfare. Critics argued that his emphasis on efficiency sometimes led to the dehumanization of the workplace, with workers being treated as mere cogs in a machine. However, proponents praised the tangible improvements in productivity and economic efficiency that resulted from implementing scientific management principles. Frederick Winslow Taylor passed away on March 21, 1915 leaving behind a legacy that continues to shape discussions on organizational management and industrial efficiency. His contributions to the field of scientific management laid the groundwork for subsequent management theories, influencing generations of managers and scholars. While Taylor's ideas have evolved over time, his impact on the discipline remains undeniable, making him a pivotal figure in the history of industrial engineering and management.